pages 310 Hello to 315. Hello and welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Part on eight, TikTok. Page 312. I'm your lovable, huggable uh, buddy, Jeremy, back again with some more reading of the book, Art of Atari by Tim Lepatino. We've been reading from an article from page 310, Process, Making Things the Analog Way. And as you can see here, we've been, we past few videos, I've been reading some really dry, long, uh, kind of boring information. Maybe some of you found it boring. I found it intriguing, maybe not very exciting, but intriguing. We're learning about some various Ruby lists and, and drafts and designs for various video games from, for, from Atari and how a lot of approval, how the approval had to go through a long list of people. Now we're going to look at a 10 stage process, the analog process. Let's start reading it. Page 312, the analog process. John Hayashi, director of consumer graphics and marketing and Evelyn Seto, graphic designer, described the process of creating quote unquote mechanicals for a particular game box and the steps needed to go from concept to final printed package. Step 1. Final sign off approval of the package comp and copy from marketing. Step 2. Develop a flat template of the unfolded package. In tandem we would be developing the structural integrity of the package with an outside packaging vendor for the feasibility and protection of the product during transportation. Step 3. From typewritten copy, we would specify the font style, point size, banner titles, leading and width or letting, pardon me, and width of the copy to an outside vendor, brackets, called a typographer, who would then supply black and white copy, quote unquote, galleys, in the format we specified. Brackets, this industry is virtually non-existent today. Step four, we would send out all photos or forward slash and illustrations to a vendor for color separations. These items were approved separately for color fidelity compared to the original art. Step five, then we would paste the typography copy in the various locations on the template board with the pictures or illustrations blocked out in red zip a tone. On a tissue overlay we would specify color and location, photos, or illustrations approved in Step 4. Step 6. The reviewed and approved mechanicals, illustrations, and transparencies would be to send out to a pre-press house to be separated into cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Brackets C M Y K films for printing the camera operator and film strippers would block out areas and book together elements as specified in the mechanicals into a single sheet of film per color step seven the color separation vendor would return with C M Y K color keys and forward slash or a film match print for art department approval and marketing department's final sign off. Step eight. After an item had been approved for production, the purchasing department would notify the graphics department which print suppliers were awarding pardon me, were awarded the printing and provide a specs to order film for the supplier. 
Step 9. We would be notified which packaging house had been awarded the printing and production job, and we would get film specifications from them. Step 10. We would order the CMYK film and have it delivered to the purchasing department. Often, the product would be multi-sourced to meet the volume required to meet our quotas. And there you have it, folks. That was the analog process on page 312 from the book that we've been reading, Art of Atari by Tim Lepitino. I think it's a little outdated by our standards. Everything is AI now, or at least graphic designed on uh, Photoshop, InDesign, uh, PageMaker. Uh, we don't use PageMaker anymore. Some people use Quark Express, but a lot of graphic design illustration on Illustrator. A lot of Adobe has taken over a lot of uh, this process here that we have. But back in my day, we used to do everything on the white, on the white table or the light table. So I hope this has been, you know, stimulating and maybe educational for you. We've been looking uh, at a lot of in-depth pages from the book uh, Art of Atar by Tim Lipitino under the Industrial Design section. And we're looking on page from the article on page 310, Process Making Things the Analog Way. I'm going to take a little break, have a little lunch, and I have to do some errands today. But tune in next time. I'll be reading page 313, and we're going to learn about some uh, designs, some Ruby Lith designs and blueprints for Donkey Kong Jr. for the Atari 2600. Send some likes, send some love if you like the content that I've been doing. I do appreciate the feedback, and uh, I will do my very best to return any, uh, any greetings. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to Video Gamers Oasis on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, for more content on that channel, more stuff uh, in the future. And uh, take care of each other. Uh, take a break from your shopping. Uh, take a break from your computer and your work, gaming, whatever it is, to do some physical exercise if you can. Do a little jogging. If you not, if you can't, at least um, rest and eat healthy. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.